Good morning and welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. It's Halloween post day two. Uh, I am doing rats. I did not know how to do this and I figured I wanted to play with paint today and I didn't know what else to do. So I had these little rats that came out of magazines years ago and I tried to draw them and that was not working. So then I decided to cut one out and trace them. And then I started thinking about the day after Halloween, which this was the day after for me, November 1st. Is today the November 2nd? Yeah, November 2nd. Um, so this was the day after. And I'm like, oh, after eating all that candy as a kid, I remember being nauseous the next day. I'm not a huge sweets person. No, nope, that's not true. I like sweets. I like them in moderation. The rest of my family likes them in bulk. Um, but so I decided I knew I wanted to watercolor and I just went for it and I added gold from Decadent Pies and Primo watercolors to all of them first. I started with a gold base because I'm nothing if not royal, right? Right. Um, and again, this is to represent your stomach after you eat all that candy. So I just started adding color. No, I didn't add them all gold first. I thought I did. I was trying to make them all different colors. And then I started thinking about um, for some reason, I guess this is my upbringing, the Grateful Dead had an album cover that had teddy bears that were all psychedelic. So these are psychedelic rats, which represent your stomach after you eat a bag full of candy um, after Halloween, the day after Halloween, the tum your tummy after the day after Halloween. Now, unfortunately, I thought I was getting closer, more paper, less of my gray hair which is not parted straight, apparently, but, uh, but do you like my funky glasses? I like my funky glasses. Uh, so I just kept adding and adding and adding, saturating these and adding color on top of color to like blend it all in. And it never turned to mud. It was always just psychedelic looking, uh, rats. Um, but I, I really, really like how this turned out. This is when you use your imagination. This is the way I like to art journal. Um, and I think I ended my two prompts lists in a good way. Yesterday's video was blah. Today, I like it much better. Imaginative, colorful, funky, uh, creepy, all in one. What more could you ask for in an art journal, right? Right. So I just, I it probably took me... In real time, almost an hour to do these rats because I just would let them talk to me and tell me, okay, put a little bit more gold here on my tail or put a little bit gold here on the pink. Just kept adding um, watercolors. And admittedly, there are three sets in there. There's Jane Davenport, Brights. There's Decadent Pies from Prima. There's... Um, they're basic watercolors. I can't remember what they called it. I know, Karti, you're telling me. Um, but I just, this was fun. I needed to do this, and apparently I really needed to do it because it looks like my mom might end up back in the hospital again. Uh, yesterday was her first Thursday without a doctor's appointment since May. All of her stuff has been done on Thursdays. And that infusion center pretty much did all that like that. It was all on Thursdays. But she ended up in the hospital a lot towards the end of her chemo um, for a couple days. And then she'd be out again by Thursday. Um, but all of her symptoms are coming back as far as uh, nausea, which she has had very little nausea. But the nausea before the chemo started and the nausea now post-chemo, that's alarming because that's what she had when we first discovered she had cancer. But we kind of knew this was going to happen. Um, but we were hoping maybe by miraculous issues that the chemo got rid of it. We knew it probably would not. But now we kind of know, mm, yeah, it's still there. And apparently pretty bad because it's not even been a week. So, or actually... It's not been two weeks. Um, she was supposed to have a two-week break, but she might end up back in the hospital before the two weeks is up. Because next Thursday is the two weeks. 
but I cut out all my little rats. Now, once they dried, they weren't quite as psychedelic. Um, and a couple of them look a little bit more muddy here, but in real life, you can see the color spots on top of spots on top of spots. So I cut them all out, and to me, they just would look better on a back, black, back, bleh, black background. So that's what I did. And my black is cardstock, so that's heavy, but I raggeded, raggeded, that's a word now, raggeded up the edges as if rats were eating it, right? Right. Um, and so I just, I, I keep, I have moved my camera again because where it was was a little shaky and I don't get it close up enough right now the way I want it, but I'm still working on it. I'm still going to try to do videos now that Inktober's over with, but I can't go anywhere, so I think I'm going to do a virtual travel, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I had started a river, was it a river journal? No, I started, I think I finished the rivers. Anyhow, before my mom got sick, I had been working on another series, and I, my, my headspace is not right, so I just kind of want to do some fun. There's the black and the ragged edges as if mice were chewing on it, rats were chewing on it. I made a little tag, and I forgot to turn the camera back on. That's how into these rats I had gotten. I add little noses and whiskers to them and eyeballs. Um, I like how it turned out. I just like the funkiness of it. I like the color, and I like, which here it doesn't look as colorful as it really is, but it really is pretty. Check out on Instagram. I'm going to try to put my picture on Instagram. Um, and there's the rats. Those are not Amy letters. Those are just regular ones that I stamped the word rats and added color to the edges. So there's my little whiskers and my eyes and my nose. And the rats are done. All of Inktober's done. I still want to do Whimsy Ween, but I'm going to do it on my own time. Huh. When? I don't know. How I don't know. Anyhow, next series, I'm going to try to do another series just because that's how my brain thinks. I don't think in one page here, one page there. I have to have a topic. But it's going to be virtual tra traveling of some kind. And you can see them a little bit better there. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for Ink October. Thanks for getting me out of a funk after my mother's illness. And thank you. Thank you. See you all tomorrow.